hello creeplings. Lupus Creepus is back with some more Will It Kill Me? And this time I got the Black Phone Ritual. Now this one's interesting because it's supposedly related to the elevator game and it's very similar to the Hooded Ritual, uh, the Hooded Man Ritual we did uh, the other week. Now supposedly if you do everything correctly in this one, you end up in a distorted world where everything outside is nothing but blackness. Now, how do you get to that world? Well, first, you need a black rotary phone. It has to be a black rotary phone for this one. And you also need a couple pieces of black cord. And, well, that's pretty much it. Except for you do need four different rooms in your house to go into. Uh, excluding this one that we're going to be in. This is kind of our main room here where our black phone is. And the really nice thing about this ritual is I get to keep the light on in here, which means I get to see what I'm doing with my dialing. But from there, it's actually pretty easy. You dial a couple phone numbers, and then you head into one of your four rooms. Close the door, wait a minute, come back, dial again, hit the second room, and then you repeat until you hit the fourth room. When you hit the fourth room, you walk inside with your eyes closed, and you need to put a black cable over the doorknob in a very specific knot, the double figure eight knot. Supposedly from here you open your eyes and you're gonna be in another world where if you look outside, everything is black. So let's not delay. Let's see if Lupus can go to another world. Now I have everything all set up, so I'm just gonna start going with this. First. And for this one, I also worry my GoPro camera, so you guys can go to the world with me. I do also have an infrared camera set up in the other room, too. And hopefully, my cat, Peeps, is right down there, and I hope she's not going to try to come with me. But if she does, then I guess I'm going to have a cat companion. I can't complain there. Alright. Tied. Again.
Well, Creeplings, I just finished up in the last room there, and I looked outside and I still see lights from, you know, like the neighbors and the street lights and all that. Looks like I was not able to go to the distortion world. Uh, now, there's a couple things that might have, you know, gone, you know, awry on this one. There are a few cats that are running around, like you probably have seen Peach popping her head up over here while I was di uh, dialing. And, you know, maybe that can affect it. Um, there isn't anybody else in the house. My roommates are actually off at BlizzCon, so I'm a little jealous of you guys right there. Uh, but other than that, did everything that I got here and still here. Well, again, I think that maybe this one just might be one of those kind of based off of a couple other things, kind of changed around. Heck, this might even be how Hooded Man started or vice versa, and then it kind of changed in its own thing. Uh, well, anyway, it was certainly interesting to do, and it's definitely creepy when you have to go and stand in a dark room, uh, especially with the entry one with your eyes closed. I was afraid I was going to either bash into the camera or bash my head in, but I did it. Anyway, we got a lot more Will It Kill Me coming for you guys. Be sure to like, to subscribe, and comment down below. And this is Lupus, and I'm out.